What's good, man? Chilling like a villain. Good How you? see, man. Chilling. Mm-hmm. All right. Do some brackety we'll brackets. Do some brackets. You know what we're doing today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched this, oh, man. Come oh, on, see? man. I watch brackets. Brackets on brackets on brackets. We trying to get to these brackets. We flipping through all the D6 in these classics. Sometimes I don't know which one to pick when it happens. We mixing the match and we listening and trying to get brackets. Brackets. Yeah. Complex brackets. So, yeah, we got a new format, Benny. We're switching up a little bit. We got these iPads. So let's get ready to crown the best lyricists in the game right now, meaning active, that they dropped a project or several verses within the last year. And of course, if you notice, you're not on here because that would just be unfair. I wouldn't be fair. I would make myself. <laughs> All right, let's get I'm it ready. bracking. First matchup we got J. Cole versus Corday. All right, ready? One, two. Bang. All right, J. Cole. Cole, man, you got to have Cole World on there. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he's a veteran, but I heard somebody tweet today that he rapping like he ain't made it yet. You know mm. what I'm saying? Not saying uh, that the young boy ain't, you know what I'm saying? The Corday you know, gets busy. He get busy, you yeah, know what I'm saying? He's he a, he a young guy, he, and, he, and he working, and you can see his trajectory in his game. You know he gonna be here for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you gotta get this one to Cole. All right, Cole World, no blanket. Cole moves on to the next round. Yes, sir. All right, next up we got Foley James versus J.I.D. All right, I got mine locked in. Who you got? You Ready? Got one, two. two. Bang. Oh, he going with Bojack. I got Bojack. I got Bojack. You know Go. what I'm saying? I'm going to say this with Bojack. Uh, I'm biased. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I'm at Owl House. I'm hearing the unreleased stuff. Yeah. I'm over there working on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? I, I can't lie. I'm biased. But you know Jed. You've, you've done records with Bowley too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Brick yeah, Mile yeah, to yeah. Montana. But Jed, man, you know, this, is, this guy is a class act. You heard him on that joint with Conway. Yes, that's he, what I'm saying. He one of the Dreamville spitters who like, who like, you could tell that. Cole got faith in him. He like carrying yeah. the weight over there, you know what I'm saying, as a lyricist. So that's I mean, what I was thinking him. too, because if you're talking about the Dreamville camp, they get busy just as much as your camp. Right, gets exactly, busy. exactly. So if you're talking about Cole, like who's like right there, mm -hmm. that's why I go with JID, because yep, yep. Cole raps at such a high level. Mm -hmm. But you sticking with Bowley James, huh? I gotta go Bojack. Bowley James goes on to the next round. Mm -hmm. Next matchup we got mm. Drake versus Lil Wayne. All right, one, two. Mm. Wow! Oh. <laughs> you, oh, you go, See, you go, I was you going go with Weezy. Lil Wayne because mm -hmm. I I crowned Lil Wayne as the best rapper of 2021 right, right, last right. year. Number one rapper of 2021. Oh, oh, Lil Wayne. I'm mad at that. What are you doing? I ain't mad at Ward that. Elliot, what? I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the not The feature mad. king? The this feature guy's the goat. like he needs a deal, Elliot. Of course, Drake does what he does. Drake is one of the best to do it. But um, I think Lil Wayne right now mm -hmm. is rapping better than a lot of his peers. Now, he is, he is. And I'm going to say this, like to what we was talking about a few a few moments ago, is that Wayne's so seasoned and he's been in it for so long, and he know a guy like Drake come under him. Yeah. He'd rather have, you know what I mean? He'd rather you you crown Drake than mm. him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's of his cloth, young money, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So. And you have a collaboration with Drake as well. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> when when yes, are we going to get that officially? I don't know, man. I, I, wonder, <laughs> I don't know. That record is so crazy. A couple of, it, it was leaked, man. I don't know how it leaked. Yeah. People think I leaked. I ain't leaking record. But, man, it's one of them records where I guess it'll come out one day or we'll do something new, you know what I okay. mean? Just to, just to be accepted by my peers is big enough for me. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's, it, it ain't about the money, it ain't about the fame. When you when you reach a certain point, it's about the respect of my peers. Right. I mean, that's it for me. So you sticking with Drake this time around? Or are you going leaning more towards the little Wayne after you called him the Tom Brady of rap? Uh, I, I, you, uh, you, went, you went with my pick last time, I'm gonna go with your pick. We're going Lil so, Wayne? So we gonna go with Weezy. All right. Go with Weezy. Well, there you go, Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go with Wayne. Goes on to the next round. Next matchup we got. Makami versus Freddie Gibbs. Mm, they look alike. <laughs> they look alike. Maybe that is Freddie Gibbs. With a... <laughs> <laughs> they look alike. Look. All right, I think I got my pick locked in. Mm -hmm. You got yours locked in? I got my pick locked in. All right, ready? Let me see mm -hmm. your reveal. One, two. Bing. Ah, I'm going yeah, with Makami. Yeah, yeah. See, see, yep. I'll go with Makami because him and Wes was like the earlier right. Zelda thing. Yeah. You can't forget that. And, and to see him come back and, and work with Wes and put that tape out that he put out last year. And it, it, it was received the way it was received. Yeah. Like, people don't see him. He be in the shadows. You know what I'm sure. saying? So he came out and did that that easy. So just imagine if he wasn't, like, in the shadows or move how he did. You know what I'm saying? He, he'd be killing this shit. Yeah. Of course, Freddie Gibbs. I had him actually ranked higher than my commie on my rapper list. Mm -hmm. But th that was because of 
the notoriety that yeah, Freddie yeah. Gibbs had versus Mock. But that album, Pray for Haiti, is definitely no, one of the best. He went crazy on that. He went crazy on that, and, and it was a thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was a thing. So, so you got to give it to Mock. All right, Mock Hami mm -hmm. goes on to the next round. Go. How do you feel about this, Benny? Nas this versus is, Ransom. This is a good one. Ran, Ran going crazy right now. Ransom is rapping at a very Ransom, high he's level. back. He's Ransom. back. I feel like I feel like Ran still still got that old hungry uh, expert flow that he always had. It just got sharper, of course, because he got older. Yeah. But he like he learned the new tricks of the game. Mm. That you know what I'm saying that you know the uh, the Griselda tricks, the underground tricks that like with linked him with 38 Special. So he learned like those new methods and he's applying it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that. I like that. All right, well, let me see which way you're gonna go, Benny. I think I got mine's locked in. I got mine's locked in. All right, ready? Let me uh -huh. see what you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, I thought yeah, you was yeah, going yeah. with Rand, though. Now, now Rand going crazy, but he I can't. Is. I, it's, it's, it's Esco. Yeah, like the new Nas album, Magic Man, mm -hmm. I think, you know, no disrespect to Ransom, but like Nas is just on some mm -hmm. other shit. I feel like he's got his groove back. Magic to me, like I said, is the best Nas album mm -hmm. in the last 20 years. I call a lot of backlash for that, but I'm sticking by that, man. Oh, that's dope. Nas. Nasty Nas goes on to the next yeah, round. Sure, he advances. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next up to bat, we got Little Baby versus Megan Thee Stallion. I got mine locked in. All right, ready? Let me see what uh -huh. you got. Ah, uh -huh. we on the same yeah, page, yeah, yeah. Little Baby. It's just, his, his run been, woo. Yeah. That boy is on fire. I think Little Baby he, doesn't get the credit that he deserves. No, nah, like, he it's don't. Really, it's a lot of flows and a lot of different pockets for him. Because it's like this, in the crowded genre that he came up in. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, when they, and, they, and they say, like, a lot of that music sounded like, so it's kind of hard to, yeah. to, to, you know what I mean? To put your own sauce on it. And he put his own sauce on it. You got to give it to him, man. You know, Meg, you're, you're, you're killing it, baby. Yeah. You're killing it. And the thing is, you know, people talk about Meg and, you know, her lyrics are really provocative, but she mm -hmm. can rap. Exactly. Like she could rap. Really, really She could well. rap. And she talk about what she want to talk about. Yes. I think that's a big thing in hip hop. People got to realize is that, you know, they try to, they try to shut it down way back in the day mm -hmm. when, uh, when the OGs, Cool Herc, you know what I mean? Whoever yeah. was doing that, they try to shut it down. So if they would have shut that down, then we wouldn't be here. That's a fact. So we can't be, we can't be trying to censor people. You know what yeah. I mean? You can't really debate nobody's art. You either like it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? And obviously people love Meg, but Lil Baby, he the boy. You know what I'm saying? Lil Baby. Got it. Well, little baby goes on to the next round. All right, next matchup we got from the blog era. Mm. Big Sean versus Wale. Wale. You know who you going with? I think I already got mine locked in. Let me see who you got. Big Sean. Big Sean. Oh, Big God. Sean. I like Big Sean lyrically what he's doing, especially the freestyle he did on the LA Leakers. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. That was killer. And the, the project that he did with Hit Boy. Wale's album was just as good, too, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, I think Big Sean right Ooh. now. He's got the hot hand. I like I like hearing uh, Sean talk about things that I haven't never heard him talk about. Mm. He been doing that a lot lately for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he been through the through the cycle of the game, so he got more to talk about different levels, and I like that. All right, Big Sean advances to the next round, and for our last matchup in the first round, we got Lloyd Banks versus Conway the Machine. Mm. I have a feeling I know where you're gonna lean to, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just know what I'm gonna pick up. Well, for argument's <laughs> sake, let's see what we got. Ready? Which, let me see what you going with. Ah, Conway the Machine, Conway man. Conway the Machine. Conway the Machine. Talk to him. Why Conway? He embodying that, that slick talk, the rhyming yeah. the syllables, the pressure, just everything right now. Yeah. And like, it'll go back to the Lil Wayne Drake thing. Like a, a, a guy like Blue, 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 you know what I mean? Because yeah. Blue know what he is. That's why Blue, Blue rock with us. Yeah, You feel absolutely. what I'm saying? So it's like, he go, yeah, you know what I mean? Blue back, warming up. He don't, he don't need to warm up because he back <laughs> yeah. going crazy. But it's like, you know, Khan, Khan is what he is, man. Yeah. And he, and he, that's, that's another scary dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> scary, he's hungry. You know what I mean? I'm going to play you a little something after uh, this. Listen, I, I'm, I'm here for What do you think is so impressive about Conway lyrically? Not even, I can't even, like, break it down in, like, a... a to make it make sense, but yeah. this, just the way he fit those syllables in there, the way he rhymes them, and and how how he could he could talk that gangster talk, he could talk slick talk, he could do the punchlines, and yeah, I can't explain it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, for real. Or some of those things you just can't explain. But Conway, yeah. you're going on to the next round. Well, Machina. And there we have it. Uh, lead eight. All right, Benny. Since we're talking about lyricists, so how do you approach a posse cut with Gun and Conway? Do you try to outdo each other? I never go into a song trying to outdo an artist. Really? I never do. I just try to go in there trying to stand on my own, too. Mm. 
And you know, but that, that's just how I am. I, I'm so, I think like, yo, you you be, I think about like, yo, you be too lax. You need to go in there and kill them. But I'm really that cocky that I'm just <laughs> going there standing on my own too. Yeah. And leaving them, leaving anybody who coming after me to, to answer to what I just did. Right. All right. Well, we be prepared for this next round then, Benny. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's get into our next round. First matchup we got, J. Cole versus Voli James. Mm. Bojack versus, versus Cole, Cole World. I mean, look at my boy Boja. He got the he got the <laughs> hat on, the joy, he got the yays on. You got your pick you locked in? Yeah, I got my pick locked. All right, let me see what you got. Boom. Boom. J. Cole? I'm nah. Go Cole. I'm gonna go Cole because I cause I gotta be honest. You know what I'm saying? But Bo Jack is Bo yeah. Jack is up there on yeah. tour right now, killing it. But Cole, like I said, God level. God level. You Jedi. know what I'm saying? He on the level that dudes like me and Bodie trying to get on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We we still we still learning from guys like right. that. You know what I'm saying? So gotta go with Cole World. All right, Cole slides to the right. He goes on to the next round. Next matchup we got Lil Wayne versus Mock Hami. These are two strong pins. Mm -hmm. But I think I got my pick locked in as well. Yeah, I got my pick locked in. All right, let me see what you got. Ah, great mind stick yeah, alike, yeah, Little yeah, Wayne. Yeah. Stick gotta go to him. Gotta go to him. Yeah, gotta go to him on this one, man. His features last year alone, I just think we're just head above, head and shoulders above a lot of other artists. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, man, like I know I'm a rapper. Yeah. When you've been doing it for so long, that's impressive. Mm. That's impressive. You know what I'm saying? So shout out, Little Wayne. Absolutely. Well, in that case, Little Wayne goes on to the next round. Yes, sir, Wheezy. All right, how do you feel about this matchup? Nas versus Little Baby. Mm. This is like uh, hip hop versus like trap. Got your pick locked in? I got my pick. Ah, Esco. Go NAS, go Esco. all the letters are spelled. You know Nas. I mean? Nas goes on to the next round. And for our last matchup in the second round, we have Big Sean versus Conway the Machine. These are two talented wordsmiths. Two, two, two spitters and all that. I mean, I got my pick locked in. Though. Got mine's too. You ready for the reveal? Let's go. Ah, Conway the Machine. That's a no-brainer. Goes on to the next round. And there we have our final four. Now, Benny, Griselda's obviously a lyrical powerhouse, but the sound these days is so melodic in hip-hop. Did you guys ever think about switching it up? This is the thing about Griselda, with me and Conway specifically. Mm -hmm. we, we did other styles of rap before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, coming in this way with the... Uh, underground, street, grimy, hip-hop, mm -hmm. being successful with that. Yeah. Of course, you thought about, you know, we, we get, we get, we do features from people who, who's in other lanes. Right. So we do rap like that. We get <laughs> paid to rap like that. They young guys, but they want to work with us because they admire us, what we right. doing in the, in the industry. So they don't care about the underground, nothing. They like, yo, I need you on this track <laughs> beat. I love you. I, I yeah. respect you. So it's like that. And yeah, 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 we thought about it, but I got to be doing what makes me comfortable. Mm. What's some of the styles that you and Conway used to rap like? Uh, man, we used to trap rap. Trap rap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to be in that trap, man. All right, well, you ready for this next round? Let's do it. It's, it, it get rough right here. It's, it's getting it, tough. It's hard all the way out. <laughs> all right, first up we got J. Cole versus Lil Wayne. Mm. I think I got mine locked in. You got yours? Yeah, <laughs> no I got peeking. Mine. <laughs> I got mine. I got mine. <laughs> Let me see what you got. Oh, oh here we go. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, Lil Wayne, your boy. Lil Wayne. <laughs> Lil Wayne, your boy. I mean, obviously, you got the new record with J. Cole. Mm -hmm. But why are you sticking with Cole? Honestly, uh, the content. The content. The okay. content. And you know, Wayne to get on there, he'll make you laugh, cry. You know what I mean? He, he, he'll talk that talk. He's real slick. But Cole's content been a, been a little bit more serious. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? See, we call, like see we're talking lyrics, right? And I just feel yeah. like Lil Wayne, especially last year, even a little bit now, his 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 pen has been so diverse, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You catch him on the Nicki Minaj record, then mm -hmm. he's doing an album with Rich the Kid, and then right. he's on Cordae. I just feel then like he's his on pen, West Side Gun. He's on West. You know what I mean? Oh like my God! Crazy, right? Oh my God! Let's like let's not even talk about that. So I just love the diversity of Wayne's pen. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think I would pick him over J Cole at this particular moment. That makes sense. But just I'm, I'm gonna say this is like. This guy who who been here since the 90s, mm. you know what I'm saying? We got to still put him in these brackets. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like for a guy like him, like, that's enough for him. Mm. I'm going to go with Cole, like, more to more the new blood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Damn, mm. see, I thought he was going to win, but J. Cole goes on to the final round. And for our last matchup in the final four, we have Nas versus Conway the Machine. Damn. That's tough, man. You got Nas who been on a... Uh, 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 another historical run, the Grammy nomination, and to get the Grammy, and him and Hit Boy sounding crazy together. 
I, I be jealous, man. They be over there making all that music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When we doing Burden of Proof 2, hit. Right. Get me over there. Uh, let me see what you got. Ready? One, two. two. Mm. La Wow. He stuck with the whole team. <laughs> La Machina. La Machina, man. You know why I picked Nas is because of magic, like I said earlier. But I know Conway is coming with something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he has yet to reveal that yet. Right, right, right. So right. as of right now, I'm going with Nas. Well, that makes sense. But that's that subject sense. to change as well because yeah, yeah. Conway... You know, the machine drops whenever he's ready. Yeah, he drops whenever he's ready, man. And, and, and like I said, I'm 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 the inside man on this. Yeah. It's, it's a Griselda takeover underway. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, it's yeah. a Griselda takeover underway. Uh, so what are we going to do, man? Cause I, so you sticking with Conway? Because... You see, you I, got Cole... So and it's not fit because you know something I don't. I gotta go with Conway. I gotta go with Conway, man. For real. All right, well, Conway the Machine slides to the left. And there we have it. Woo! Our grand finale. Now, Benny, talk to me about your new deal with Def Jam, man. Why did you decide to sign with them? See, this is the thing about it. You know, Def Jam knows who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's weird for me to say, but <laughs> right. I'm meaning to say, like, they know I'm a hustler and they know a person who built everything up independently. Mm -hmm. That's why you can see me sign my Dev Jam deal and then still drop a album, Ten to Talk Four, that's gonna be with Empire. Right. Because they're gonna let me do independent things. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we're working together. It's not like back in the 80s, these rappers was kids off of right. corners who was dead ass broke. You know what I'm saying? We not those kids, you know what I'm saying? They understand that they it's better to make partnerships with these guys. Right. And all big major labels now have uh, distribution companies on the side. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So they understanding it now, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's about a big check. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, uh, and moving forward, trying to expand my reach, you know what I'm mm. saying? Get my reach further. Well, we got to reach out and touch somebody right now because we got our final picks. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, here we go for our final matchup. We have J. Cole versus Conway, Conway the Machine. Conway the Machine. Hmm. Now, like you said, there's no wrong answer. There is no wrong there's answer. No wrong Listen, I don't want none of y'all, none of my peers to be mad at me about my <laughs> picks. There's no wrong answer. Y'all know y'all, y'all all them guys, man. Y'all all rich and famous and y'all those guys, man. You know what I mean? Yes. If I was in the, I would have picked myself over all y'all. <laughs> you you would have won. I mean? But for the sake of argument, mm -hmm. for the best lyricist in the game right now, not including yourself, right. who do you got? You ready to reveal? One, two, three. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> he stuck with the whole yeah, team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conway the Machine. Conway the Machine? I'm going to say this. I don't know who could out-rap Conway the Machine if we just, if, if, if they was just in here rapping with no beat playing and we in here in the mm. cypher. Like, line for line and Like, bar for bar? And bar for bar mm -hmm. and with, with how much shit he got? I don't know. I don't know if anybody could survive <laughs> that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anybody could survive that onslaught of bars and terror. So you're going to stick with Conway the Machine because, listen, J. Cole, he held it, He held his own with you on that record. It felt like as if he was a member of Griselda. No, nah, he went crazy. He went yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, he he, he he's a class act. Yeah. He he's goes to show, like, you know, people be talking that Benny the Butcher shit. He come to show, like, I could stand with the best of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I'm not budging, B-Dot. You sticking with Conway? I'm not budging. I'm, I'm standing <laughs> on that, man. I'm standing on this, man. Well, if you're standing on it, I guess I have to as well. Yes, According sir. According to Betty the Butcher, Conway the Machine. Conway the Machine, bring the trophy home, baby. He's the best lyricist in the game. I know you got something to prove this new album, Tanner Talk 4. What can mm -hmm. we expect from this new album? You can expect growth. Mm. You can expect growth from me. Uh, you can expect my content to be matter of fact like the yeah. things that's going on in my life right now the thing the shit that's on my mind yeah. that's what i'm talking about i'm not reaching i'm not going in there looking for this type of record or this type of oh i gotta say this on this record because album almost done i'm going in there speaking with several on my mind and, yeah. and just trying to trying to compete with benny the butcher and nobody else you know right. what i'm saying i could tell you right now when uh when wayne go in the studio he's not trying to outdo drake he's not trying to outdo cole man he's trying to outdo wayne yeah what you think you think nas trying to outdo niggas on here <laughs> he's trying to outdo that yeah. that shit that he you know what i mean that yeah. that classic shit that we grew up on yeah, absolutely so it's like we our own biggest competition you know what i'm saying all right yeah no doubt man you're absolutely right thanks for coming through yes, benny. sir appreciate you always wanted to do this man